All right, guys, welcome back to another quick video. This is an updated video that I wanted to give you guys a long time ago, but I have so many phones, it's hard to keep up. But this is kind of an underdog out here. And this phone right here um, is a phone that's a direct competitor with uh, phones like the Moto E4 Plus and the Moto E4 and any of those phones that you can think of in this price range. And, and this one is actually probably a better purchase uh, than those. It costs a little bit more. It costs about 120 bucks, uh, $140, depending on where you get it from. This is the Figo Gravity or Figo Gravity uh, 4G LTE phone for the U.S. It's unlocked. It's directly on Amazon. You can find it. Uh, and there's some good things about this. And I, I brought to this phone about a month ago, and I was just trying to give you an update. Now, you know, I'm using it. Um, see my SIM cards in there. I'm using it. It does get LTE for the U.S. Um, now right now it's on H plus for some reason. It's never done that before, but it's on H plus. As soon as I start recording, I get H plus. Uh, but this phone is actually offering a lot. Uh, out of the box, uh, they gave you a really nice case with their logo on it, which kind of looks like a Spigen case. It's really nice. You don't have to buy anything. It gave you a tempered glass, green protectors and stuff, all in the box. But what makes this phone a good competitor to the phones I just I just mentioned is this has um, some 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 key features that are worth uh, taking a look at. Now the person buying this phone is not a spec junkie, so keep that in mind because people who buy the Moto E4 and all those other phones they're not spec junkies either. Here's some key things about this phone that are really important. Now let me start with the things that are that are not important to me, but you might say they were bad. Is this phone runs Android six? Uh, and that, that's probably the worst thing about it that I could find. Other than that, it runs really, really good. It actually has LTE bands 2, 3, 4, 7, 12, and 17. And the 3G bands are 850, 1900, and 1700. So you're going to get good connection everywhere you go with this phone. I've taken this phone on trips, uh, used it. Everything is good. I mean, I don't have any problems with it at all. Uh, this, this is an octa-core phone with 3 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs on board with a 5.5 inch HD display. It's got a full metal body. This is something to be desired on phones that cost under 200 bucks. I mean, it's a beautiful looking phone. I mean, come on. You got a headphone jack, you got an IR blaster. Um, this is this is really nice. Uh, and the camera and you know the setup setup on here is not it's not bad, you know. It's not top notch like you see on some other phones, but uh, other than that, man, I mean, I really enjoyed this phone. This phone is premium right here. Oh, there we go. There's my LTE. I don't know why I was showing the H Plus before, but um, but listen, this phone works everywhere. Um, they give you everything in the box. Uh, so performance, I guess that's what you want to hear about. The fact that it runs six uh, Android six, uh, that's really not not an issue. And one thing I forgot to point out, I think in the other video, this phone has quick charge. So 60 minutes, you can almost be at a full charge, which is actually really good. Um, but the 13 megapixel on the camera on the back, uh, 13 megapixel on the camera back, uh, is really good. Uh, I don't have any problems with it. I mean, for the price and this build quality, this is almost a complete package for a, a person who wants a pocket-friendly device. I mean, you're getting a big screen. You're getting these stock-esque, almost like the stock look. You know, you get a fingerprint reader. You know, you're getting what you want from high-end phones in a more premium um, uh, package in a, a lesser price. The build quality on this thing, this is a phone that you just kind of got to, you got to have it in hand, man. There's not a lot of LTE phones for the U.S. that are unlocked that have has a full metal body uh, with a fingerprint reader and good cameras. Uh, it's got 5 megapixels on the front, by the way, and a 13 megapixels on the back. Not top-notch cameras but they'll work for the average consumer. This will work for anybody, pretty much. You just have to get out there and try it. But the fact that this checks the box for a metal body, 13 megapixel camera, 3,000 milliamp hour battery with quick charge, LTE for the US on all GSM carriers, 32 gigs on board storage, three gigs of RAM. I mean, come on, think about some phones that, that we have out here right now that don't have a full metal body, they don't feel as premium, they don't have 32 gigs on board storage, they don't have three gigs of RAM. I mean, what do you say? So I had to give you a quick update and a follow up on this phone here, man. I, I really, really like this phone. Uh, it's a premium feeling design, uh, device in a pocket friendly package. It's really, really good. It fits me very well. I actually took it out of this case because I keep it in a case when using it. Um, the, the case is, you know, it's extra, you know, it's free in the box. Um, and you, you get it. This is how it looks with the case. I think it looks really stunning. 
Uh, again, cameras on here are, you know, they're going to be what they are. They're good enough for, for uh, the price point. Very slow shutter, very slow focus, but um, I get a decent camera. And that's all that matters. Look at that detail. So this phone has been working. You know, I have realistic expectations when I review phones. And this phone is a complete package for the pocket-friendly people, man. Case, metal body, LTE, decent cameras, long battery life. And hey, it's just running Android 6. Other than that, I like it. 7.7 millimeters in thickness. This one's a go. So quick update from you, man, J. Will. Nafigo, Figo, Gravity, whatever the official name is. Wanted to tell you guys, this is actually a really nice phone. I'll put a link in the description. Take care.